All right, so here are the test pins that we're going to be using. Um, there's a, uh, a VGA connector that's got um, red, green, blue, um, both in regular VGA and in YPPBR for uh, HDTVs. We'll talk about that later. Um, there's a horizontal sink and a vertical sink, so and a ground. So I'm going to wire those all up to a little test board here. Um, the S video, hmm. And think about that. Maybe I'll get a connector for the S video. I don't have a connector for that. Um, and then the uh, NTSC comes out on the BNC, so we don't need any cabling for that. So I am building a little uh, board over here, and that will be my uh, RGB uh, horizontal, vertical, and ground. So making a little test board, so I can do that. So let's get. Uh, Let's get that pretty up. All right, I just want to make a little bit of, make this a little prettier here. All right, so now I have this little uh, text test fixture here that I can uh, put my oscilloscope probes onto. That'll make it a lot easier than trying to try to probe this uh, VGA connector. And uh, we'll do some, uh, do some waveforms now. Okay, so let's talk about some uh, display waveforms. We'll start with the simple one first. Um, it's not the first one. It's not the old black and white TVs. Those were actually complicated. <laughs> we're gonna start out with one of the more modern um, displays, a VGA display, um, because they're much simpler electronically. So a display, you have what's called a raster, okay? A raster is the means that you display a line with information, and then you go back and you start it back at the beginning again. It's almost like a typewriter. If, if anybody knows what a typewriter is these days, anyway, you go to the end and then you hit carriage, carriage return, you come back. So you type a line, hit carriage return, type a line, hit carriage return. So it's going to do this, and um, you're going to display information along the way. Now, back when it was uh, like a, a CRT, you actually had a waveform. You actually uh, sent analog signals in, and the, if it was a, a big signal, it was bright, and if it was a small signal, it was dark, all right? And in, in, in VGA, we're gonna do the same thing. Um, we're gonna send an analog signal, and if it's high, it's bright, and if it's low, it's dark. And then the receiving unit, the display, is gonna sample it. And so it's gonna sample it, okay? We're not going to send it bit by bit data. That's that's something like H HDMI. Um, we're going to be sending it an analog stream, and it's going to digitize it, just like an oscilloscope would. So a VGA display is like a three-channel oscilloscope. Um, it's going to uh, look at the red, green, and blue information and their their analog inputs, and it's going to digitize them. And so it needs to know where where to start. Okay. And so we're going to have a, a couple of sync pulses, okay? And one of them is going to be a, a vertical sync, okay? A vertical sync happens every frame. So when you get down to the very, very bottom, you send a vertical sync pulse. And that says, we're going to start over, you know, erase this picture, and we're going to start over again. It doesn't actually erase it, it just starts overwriting it. Um, but we are going to uh, start over again, okay? And then at the end of every line is going to be a horizontal sync, okay? So, so you can think of it as both the, the start and the stop. There, there's, a, there's going to be a sync pulse, okay? And so uh, the, the stop of one line is the start of the next line, right? So every horizontal line is going to have a sync, and every vertical frame is going to have a sync. Okay, so vertical sync, horizontal sync. So the little ones are H sync, H sync. Okay, and then we are going to send it information. We are going to send it a red information, green information, and blue information. Okay, and so as the display is going along, it's going to be sampling it. And it'll say, okay, I'm on the red pixel. I need to know what the red value is. So it looks at the red signal and it samples it. And then it puts that red dot there. 
I says, okay, now I need to know the green information on, on the next clock cycle. I'm going to look at the green information and that's the value I'm going to sample and I'm going to put on the screen. And so it's going to sample RGB, 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 RGB. Sometimes it's a little more complicated than that, but basically you're sampling RGB and then you're setting the little red, green, and blue pixels on your television or your, or your monitor to the values that it sees on these analog voltages, okay? Remember, these are analog voltages, right? Everything is analog. And the display device is going to sample it and going to digitize it. Now, how does it know when to sample it correctly? Well, it uses the sync pulses. It knows that, so it's gonna be sampling the sync pulse. It's gonna go, okay, I'm gonna take these two sync pulses and then I'm gonna break that up into, let's say it's a 640 by 480. Okay, so 640 pixels this way and 480 pixels this way. That means 480 lines of information and then 640 pixels of information. And so it's gonna sample it 640 times. Maybe a couple more at the ends, and you know, but it's basically going to sample it 640 times. So it sees the sync, it sees the sync, it, it, it starts to uh, register those two things. A lot of times you have to tell your monitor what your refresh rate is and what your horizontals and all those other things. It figures it all out these days. But back in the day, you used to have to tell it. No, I'm, I'm 640 by 480 and I'm say, I'm say uh, 59 hertz. And then it, it knows it, it knows what to do. It knows what, what clock frequency to use, okay? So the clock frequency of the display is the sample frequency of, of the do, 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 right? Okay, so that's kind of a brief introduction to how displays work. And uh, let's take a look at the waveforms um, for particular uh, test images. Um, first thing we're gonna take a look at is this um, here. And the blue trace at the bottom is the vertical sync pulses, okay? So those are, those are the vert vertical sync pulses. And you can see that um, we are having a whole bunch of information between the vertical sync pulses. Right at the vertical sync pulse, kind of nothing goes on for a while, and then it starts to start, starts up. So those are all the, all of all the lines of, of, of information, and then uh, you get another vertical sync pulses. So those are frames. What you're seeing here is frames, okay? So let's zoom in on this, and uh, we will go way, 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 way in. All right, and then I'm going to change the uh, blue trace and you can see now that the blue trace is hooked up to the horizontal sync. So now we're getting horizontal sync. So what we're looking at is uh, a stair step pattern on the, uh, on the display. I'll put a picture here of what a stair step looks like. It's just a bunch of gray bands from, from dark to light. All right. So you can see here that we have, uh, we have the sync, which is just kind of like a TTL level type of thing. And then we have the um, R, G, and B, okay? And they're in a stair step fashion. Now I have them um, all on top of one another if I have them uh, all at the same ground reference. But I'm gonna move, move one down a little bit. So, so this is what they were, they were, so you can see that they're all the same intensity. I'm gonna move this one down just so we can see it. And I'm going to move uh, this one down just so we can see it. Uh, and you see that they're all the same. So because we're sending an analog signal and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and because the red, the green, and the blue are all exactly the same value, they're going to add to white. R plus B plus G is white, right? Red, green, and blue together is, is white. So here we have a white a white display. All right, um, and it, it moves across the screen. Like I said, uh, the display is going to digitize this, but this is an analog signal that we're outputting. Let's look at a couple other uh, signals here. Uh, we had a ramp. I'll put a picture here of what a ramp looks like. And now let me change to ramp. And I'll take a single sweep here. And you can see that we're getting the same thing, but it is uh, a linear ramp. It's a voltage ramp. And you can say, hey, they're not all the same. And uh, honestly, I don't know why they're different. Um, it seems like they should all be the same. And the, uh, the green trace, 
so yellow is, <laughs> this is going to be really hard, yellow is the red channel, uh, the cyan is the green channel, and the magenta is the blue channel. But it looks like the green channel is a little running a little bit high. And I don't quite know why that's why that's true. Let's look at some other things. Let's look at a uh, multi burst. Okay, multi burst is really fun. That's when we have the frequency change from low low. I'll, I'll put a picture here. That's where we have the uh, coarse lines, and they get finer and finer and finer. And we can uh, we can zoom in and take a look at that. We have some coarse lines. And then they get finer and they get finer and they get finer as we move across they get finer and they get finer and finer finer until finally they get to the maximum resolution and then we get another horizontal sync pulse all right all right so that's kind of fun um let's see what else can we look at um all right let's look at a color bar because this is where it gets really interesting we'll do a color bar and we'll just swingle. I'm gonna put them all exactly at the same level, all right? And uh, then we will take a look at what we've got here. All right, so these are color bars. These are colors across the screen. They're all the same brightness. They're all maximum brightness. Let's turn off the green channel and let's um, turn off the blue channel. So that's what red is doing. The red channel is doing that. And then if I add the green channel, it's doing that. And if I add the blue channel, it's doing that. So let me offset them a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, so in that first area, they're all high, which means you have a, a high white, all right? And then the blue channel is now low and the red channel is high and the green channel is high, that makes yellow, all right? And then you can step through this and you can figure out what are the different colors, right? Which one is high, which one is low? That's how the different colors are made. Sometimes the red, green, or blue channels are high, sometimes they're low, and that's how you make color bars, all right? All right, so I'm just gonna let this thing free run, and we will just press some buttons. Here's a white raster, they're all high. Here's a black raster, they're all low. Here's a crosshatch. Um, so various values, sometimes you're seeing, um, vertical lines, sometimes you're seeing horizontal lines. Those ones that kind of flick in once in a while, those are the horizontal lines. Uh, we have stair, stair step. We saw that one before we have, uh, regulate, which is a, a bright, um, center, um, square. Here's a, here's a checkerboard. So sometimes. It's, it's white and black, so they're all, the values are all the same, but sometimes they're high, sometimes they're low. Pluge is a funny little one. Uh, I don't really want to talk about that one. And then here's uh, Windows. So this has 100% a, a, a intensity. And then you can see as they push the buttons, the uh, analog voltage is going lower and lower and lower. And it's always appearing in the same place because the window's in the same place. Here's the multi-burst. Um, we saw that color bars. This is a split color bar and a sympty color bar. They, they all different waveforms, but they're making color bars. I showed you the ramp. Here's focus. Um, needle, you can see a little bit of excursions in there, vertical lines and ANSI gray. This is a kind of an interesting one. Let's see if we can let's see if we can capture one that has the real information in it. There we go. Here's one that has um, the uh, low information. So you can see there is a step there. So we should get three steps of black. And let's see if we can catch a high one. All right, so I'm gonna put these all on the same. I'm gonna run it. And then I'm going to do a uh, display. I'm going to do a persistence so we can see them. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that there's uh, three white levels and three black levels. And so those are, uh, if you have a really good tuned uh, 
a good tuned system, you'll be able to see those. Let me turn the persistence down because that's a little harder to see there. Let's see. Let me clear this out and then we'll go back. Oops, sorry. All right, so that's a brief introduction to uh, VGA. You have uh, RGB analog signals, you have a horizontal sync, and you have a vertical sync. And uh, the takeaway there is remember that they're analog signals and they're digitized.